why aren't your kicks sounding good? That's probably why you're here today. And I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way around that. Rather than relying on outdated sample packs, why don't you just grab the kick you love from the artist that you've been listening to all this time? Well, check this out. My name is Jahan, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to extract your own kicks. We're gonna grab some kicks from tracks like this. It's gonna end up sounding like this. So look, if you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get to it. I'm just gonna hop into making these kicks. Basically, we're gonna grab the reference track, find an element of the reference track that only really has percussion going, and extract the kick. I can use EQ to extract it. Probably this one. Right, and you can hear that there is overlapping like clicks and things like that. With EQ, we're gonna be able to take that out. Where the peak is, pretty flatly around uh, 45, uh, right at that 45 peak, maybe a little after, so I make sure it gets in there. So I'm gonna duplicate this a bunch more and actually uh, wiggle that low pass so that it, it introduces more and more information into the sample. I limit it at 50 and I'm just gonna double that. Uh, the third one, 200. It'd be great to just play them all at the same time, but all those bass frequencies are gonna super overlap. Well, first I'm gonna freeze and flatten them. So I'm gonna actually start right where it's, it peaks. Wavelength gets strongest right in the middle. So I'm gonna copy this, paste it there, grab this, move it over, drop it, but this time just over, because it's supposed to be just a little bit over. Copy it. And this time I'm gonna move it Copy, drop down, paste. Okay. Fat transient. So there, you got a new kick. You can use that for all your tracks. So, you know, same process as before. Being like raw, as you can see, of the kick. So I want to make sure I get that tail in it. Oh man, it's just so low. Look at that. It's got 40. I'm gonna put it just a little bit above the 40. Let's go to the second one. Go to 90. Third one. Let's open that up. 180. Just doubling it each time. 360. 720. And then I'm going to freeze and flatten those. Again, isolating the peak. Again, peak hits real early. Boom. Looks like there's some information there. For the transient, yeah, I'm using the original track up here. Making sure it all lines up. It's going to be this one. So why, yeah, why this one? Um, so right, I'm doing low passes or high cuts and the remaining, like at least I can hear, there's this like chord that's high and this percussion that's like in the high frequency spectrum. And I know by through processing this with EQ, it's gonna, it's gonna cut out all those signals. It's fat. It's at 45. Yeah, these are low kicks. That's why I chose these. Usually, like I said, 50, 55. But I've been seeing a couple of these producers that are a lot like Artbat, these melodic techno guys that are doing it even lower. Each you know genre of song, you know, if you're going to have a song that's really heavy thumping on the kicks, you're going to choose that lower frequency. So the difference between 10 decibels goes a long way. It's shocking. 200. Double from 100, right? 200. Next one, 400. Boom. And then let's reconstruct our kick. And I'm just moving it so that the peaks align. Because it seems to, the phase keeps switch in a little bit between each frequency that's cut off. Okay, 
Let's grab a little information here. And again, the final, right, I left this little tail and then I'm gonna use the last, the, the very original audio file up here, which has the transient. So there it is, any kick that you want at your disposal, anytime. Isn't that fantastic? Well, look, if you like this content, if you liked what you saw here today, be sure to hit the like button. You know, just gently caress that like button and, you know, glimmer on the subscribe button as well. You know, not smashing, not destroying it, just a gent gentle nod, nod your way. That's what I'm looking for. So great, take care, good luck. If you need anything else, you can reach out. I'll be hearing from you.